guys. Um, yeah, uh, this is another um, serious tutorial, and uh, we're going to be going into um, some advanced part of um, Photoshop. Uh, if you if you're new to Photoshop, um, you can apply for a training. We have um, a training for beginners, but if you already applied for a training, I believe um, most of the things I'm going to be doing in this video are not going to be new to you. Okay, now uh, what I, what we're going to be doing today is um, we're going to be converting all these files, all these files we have here. Okay, we're going to convert them to this. All right, so uh, it's really cool, right? It's really really cool. <laughs> all right, so um, I. Uh, this tutorial is actually based on um, teaching how to do a movie poster, okay? And it's going to take a long um, time to finish, okay? So, but what I wanted to do is, I want you to, I don't want you to look at how long the video will take, okay? What I just need from you, all I need from you is just to, you know, uh, don't look at the time, just spend your time, look at how the video, just take time to look at the video. I believe it's something that will do you good later. All right. So um, let's just jump right in. Okay. So uh, this is um, Photoshop CC, and um, we're going to be creating a new document. So what we're going to do is to go to create a new document. We go to File New, and okay, this is the last um, dimension I used for the for the um, design. So I don't need to change it. I use twelve eighty by seven twenty. I actually use this for people who are looking at converting it to a motion uh, work. So I'm gonna leave the resolution at three hundred and the color mode at RGB. All right. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna make any adjustment yet. The only changes I'm gonna make here is this. So I'm gonna change this to movie poster. And I will hit OK. All right. So um, Photoshop is loading my new document. All right. So this is it. So the next thing we're gonna do is uh, to start bringing in our file, our files. So uh, the first one I'm gonna bring in is the background. So I'm gonna drag this. Drop it here. Alright. Don't worry. I'm gonna put all the put all the files I use for this design on the website. So you can easily go to our website. Uh, our website is uh, com, And if you're already on uh, Caesar Graphics, I believe that is not really compulsory for you. Alright, you don't really need that. Alright, so the next uh, file I'm going to bring in is this, the guy PNG. I'll drag this and drop here. Okay. And let's see. I'm going to position this about here. Alright. Cool. So, um, what else? Next. Alright. So, um, blah, 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 blah. let's just quickly touch on. Uh, the guy's picture a bit. Let's increase the contrast a bit. Okay. I'm going to restorize the layer so as to have um, the grace to do my adjustments. All right. All right. So. Um, all right. So uh, we're going to adjust the contrast of the of the guy's layer. So remember. Um, you know, when you are using Photoshop, please be conscious of your layer palette, alright? Always be conscious of this. Make sure you have the right layer when you are making any adjustment. So I'm going to go to Image Adjustment and let a Curve. So I'm going to play with the Gamma. I'm going to move this up a bit. So move this down. Oh, sorry, up and move this down. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing for the background layer. So I'll 
presence of the image adjustment hub. And I'm going to move this down, this down to about this, and move this up. Cool. All right. So um, the next thing I'll bring in is this guy here. Move this and drop here. All right, but it's too big, so I'm gonna have to reduce it a bit. Okay, I'm gonna reduce it and we'll move, drag and move it on top of the guys layer. All right. So the next thing I'll do is um, I'll hit Control T. All right, but if you don't want to use the shortcuts, you can go to Edit and select Transform here and then hit Scale. Alright, so I'm gonna rotate this and position it here. Then I'll use um, I'll let me first rasterize the layer and I'll go to um, my blend mode and select light. Alright, I'm gonna select light and uh, I'll rotate this to here. Okay. Let's cover a bit to small. So I'll position this here. Alright. And um alright. Okay, let me uh, so let's go in. Um let's try screen. Let's see what screen let's see what screen bed mode give it. Um I think I prefer the screen bed mode. The light is not really giving me what I want. Cool. All right. So I prefer the screen blend mode. And I'm going to rotate this, and um, I need to clean up the sharp um, edges of the layer. So I'll use my eraser too. I remember always use a soft round brush. All right. Make sure the edges of your brush is um, soft. So I'm going to clean up this. It's okay. Clean up all this. Part. All right. So. I think I'm cool with this now. All right, so um, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, to uh, match the three layers. All right, I'm going to match the three layers, but there's something I want to I want to create a bond effect on the picture. So to, on the design, sorry, um, on the three layers, I'm going to add. I'm going to do a bond effect. So what I'll do is I'm going to shift select the three layer and then click on hold shift and then select the um, folder icon here so once I click on it it's going to automatically put everything on the um, in a folder for me so I'll put um, um, files tag it as files and hit enter and the next thing I'll do is to make another copy by dragging and dropping on the new layer icon Alright, to make another copy, so I'll hide this then on the copy. I'm gonna say edit in this, then I'll right click and then convert it to smart object from smart object, right click again, and then make rasterize the layer. Alright, so uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna make another copy of the edit layer. I'll make another copy and I'll make another copy again to have two edit um, copy layer. Now, um, the one on top, I'm going to hit Ctrl I, all right, to invert it, or you can always go to uh, Image um, Adjustment and then select Invert here, all right. Then I'm going to send the blend mode to Vivid Light, all right. I'm going to send it to Vivid Light. So we have this, okay. I believe you're you're enjoying this the, the tutorial, all right. Um then I'm gonna I'm going to go to filter blur and select surface blur. Alright. Then I'll make uh, my radius 30. I guess 30 is fine. Let's see the trend for so let it go down trend is too much. Oh beautiful. Alright. Make this a bit okay, so um okay with this now what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to get this kind of burn effect, this 
burn effect in the picture. All right? That's what I'm trying to do. All this burn effect is what I'm trying to achieve. Okay? So I'm going to make it 40, uh, 47, let's say 46. All right? All right, so let's make it back, let's put it back to 30. All right, 30, 32 is fine. All right, so I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, then uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna match the two layers together. All right, this layer and the layer on the layer beneath. So I'm gonna shift select the second layer and I'm going to go to view um, layer, um, uh, layer then select match layers all right so i'm going to make the layer one layer so i have the two layers to, together now all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to um uh, yeah i don't want the saturation all right i need to reduce the saturation so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to convert the picture to black and white so as to give me the desired result i want so to do that i'm going to go to image Adjustment and select um, um, desaturate. All right. So the shortcut is Shift Control U. So once you hit that, you have uh, a black and white um, image. All right. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to go to Filter again, select Blur. But this time we're using Gaussian Blur. Gaussian Blur. All right, so I'm going to reduce the strength of my blood to about this. All right, I'm going to make it this level. Okay. Um, let me reduce this. All right, so let's make it um, something as small as this. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK. All right, let me go to the core. And after. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my blend mode. Make sure you're on the right layer. My blend mode, and I'll hit overlay. Okay. So I have this kind of burn effect on the picture, on the design. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I uh, will go to my adjustment layers, and I'm going to select the gradient map. Then I'm going to hit this and then select um, this. All right. Now, if you don't have this uh, this kind of color uh, um, palette on your gradient uh, map, you can always come here and then choose the color. All right. Choose the color. But what I'll do for you is, if you're looking at using the same color I have here, and um, um, you want to use it for your for your um, uh, later designs. So what you do is, um, let, I'm just going to double click on this and then copy this figure here. All right. I believe you can see what I have here. Copy this and paste it on your Photoshop um, gradient map color palette, color picker, and then hit OK. And then do the same thing for the second one. So just copy this and paste it on your um, color picker. Uh, color box so um, what, else? what else all right so and then when you're true remember to click new give it the name and then click new so when you hit new Photoshop will automatically add it to your um, to your presets all right to add it to your color presets so uh, what I'm gonna do now is to just hit ok okay and go to my layer palette reduce the strength of the color a bit this level, all right. Like this to like this level. Then I'll go back to my adjustment layer again. Then go to call. Then make the call layer go down. Push this. Push this. Push this. All right. Go back to my layer palette and reduce my color map a bit down. Okay. Alright. Then I'll go back to my core. Then 
go to blue. I wanted to have a little more. I wanted to have more yellow. So I'm going to push this down. I to have more yellow. Push it down. I push this up. So I have to have a little bit of blue. Alright. So I'm going to push this up to about this level. Alright. And um, what else? Alright. So I'm going to push this here. And then go to my um, color picker. I mean, I said color picker, sorry, selective color. And uh, my red, I'm gonna reduce the red a bit. All right, this is my selective color. I'm gonna reduce the red. The red, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just the All right, cool. So, uh, go to blue, choose the blue. the blue a bit okay alright so um alright so um what what next what next what next alright um gonna add uh, color balance Gonna add color balance, all right. And I'm gonna push this. I'm gonna add a little more yellow, and more yellow, and blue. All right, and more blue to it. I don't want red to be too much. I don't want it to be too much. And um, all right. So um, the, the next thing I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm going to all right, so I'm going to add um, uh, brightness and contrast. So I'm going to make my brightness go down. Then increase my contrast. All right, I'm going to increase my contrast to about um, let's say 23, I mean 30. 33, let's make it 33. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is um, let's see, let's see. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm um, going to put everything in a folder again and I'll hold and shift click on the folder icon and I'll give it a um, uh, width color. Just sorry, just meant. All right, so I'm gonna make another copy of, for this. Okay. All right. So and I'm going to uh, convert this to a smart object. Right click again, say rasterize. And what I'll do is I'll make another copy. Okay. Then. Um, then I'll go to filter, blur, then the option blow. Alright, so um, okay, let's leave it as um, 3.6 and I'm going to change it to black and white. So I'll go to filter, I mean, I'll go to image adjustment and then choose uh, the saturate. Alright, now you can always use, uh, I'll hit control Z, you can always use. Uh, your hue, you can use hue saturation to reduce the saturation of the picture. All right. So what I'll do is let's try the hue um, saturation to do that. I have this, then I'll move the saturation there to have the black and white image. Okay. So you can choose whichever one you feel is okay for you. All right. So. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. So I'm going to choose. Uh, I'll make my blend mode overlay. All right, so uh, I think we're getting there. So I'm going to move this down to about this level. Stick it to that. So I'll make it go this level. Um, okay. I'm down with this. All right. Um, it's too much. 
Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna we're gonna do is to now work on the um the button, alright? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna zoom close, alright, to the button, and I'm going to go to my um ellipse two, then go draw a circle. But when you're drawing a circle, make sure you have shift selected so as to draw a perfect circle, okay? So so as to draw a perfect ellipse. So I'm gonna draw this like this. Um, yep. Then um, the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to I'm gonna put the expense here. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to um, all right. But before. I do that before I go into that. I want to quickly explain something because um, some of you may face this challenge uh, when you're using, um, when you're trying to do this. Okay, if this is your first time of using this tool, all right, it's possible you face uh, something that looks like, um, uh, like uh, let me show you. Uh, I hit Ctrl Z. Okay, guys. Um, this is what I'm saying. If um, this is your first time of using uh, this tool, all right, it's possible when you drop the ellipse, when you drop the, um, coming, when you draw the ellipse tool, the ellipse shape on your work area, it's possible you have something like this. Hmm? Now, if you have something like this. On your screen, all right. Don't run away from the tutorial. What I what I just want you to do is to hit Ctrl Z, and then make sure you click this. All right. This is the pro this is what is causing the problem. So make sure you have this check, and not this. So once you once you have this check, and then you draw your shape, you're not gonna have that black fill inside uh, your shape. Okay, so I believe um, I helped someone right there. Okay, so let's continue with the tutorial. All right, so I believe um, you guys are still following us, still following um, the tutorial. All right, so um, so let's go back. I'm going to zoom. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, then I'll make use of my ellipse um, two. And then draw a shape around the green circle. All right. Now, the reason why you can see me have the shape and I can still move the shape around is because I have my shift, all right, hold down. Now, the reason I have shift hold down is because I don't have a perfect shape, all right. Then, um, the reason you, why you can see me move the shape around when I still have uh, my ellipse um, tool selected is because I'm holding down space at the same time. So if you hold down space and then you move your mouse around, you will have the grace to be able to move your object to the right position where you want it. So I'm going to position this here. And I'll still draw the bits. Okay, so. All right, so this is where I'm going. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to make a layer. All right, I'm going to click on the new layer icon here. I will double click and I give it the name. I'll say half, sorry, half circle. All right, FX. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is um, we're going to go to your brush too. Select. Um, Hard brush, okay. But well, make sure the size is set to three. And um, what else? Are there? Okay, cool. So the next thing I'm going to use to go back to my pen tool. All right. Make sure you're on the the layer, circle layer, and then your foreground color is set to white. All right. So I'm going to switch the color. I'm clicking this. All right. I'll click this to switch colors. I think I set something like this in the in my training. 
I've taught you guys how to switch this. But if you don't have it, I would advise you apply for training. Okay, so I'm going to switch the color to white. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is to right click. Let's select stroke parts. All right. Make sure this is not checked. All right. I'll still teach you why we have to make this check. Okay. So make sure this is not checked. If this is your first time of using this, I'm sure yours will be on pencil. So make sure you change the tool to what brush. All right. Then I'll hit OK. Okay. So if you look at it now, you see we have this white. Um, this white um, line that follow the part of our circle of our ellipse to of our ellipse um, shape so we're gonna hit enter to remove the um, ellipse shape all right now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna reduce the opacity a bit so I can see um, my cut out part so I'm gonna then the next thing is choose your polygonal lasso tool and then cut out sorry cut out the part now for those of you who are new to this when you make a selection and then when you click all right because the way the ellipse to work is you click to add um to add a, a selection part all right so if you feel um you made a mistake and then you want to go back what you're going to do is to hit backspace on your keyboard or you hit the links all right so i believe you get the idea so i'm going to select um this part okay cool now the next thing i'll do is i'm um, going to hit the links but before i do that let me let's have feathers all right let's have feathers to the selected parts okay so i'm going to make it um, two all right I already taught you guys the what um, feather is. Why we always add feathers to our nails. If you know you are not, um, you don't really understand it. If you come for our training, we're gonna teach you what, um, how, why we always add feathers to our nails. So um, I'm gonna hit backspace to delete that part, okay? And I'll hit Control D or go to select and then select the select here. All right, so I'm gonna make the layer more visible. Back, I'm gonna make it visible. Back again, and I have this kind of this um, uh, white line. All right, around um, the hand. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, go to my FX icon here, and then select the glow. I'm gonna select outer glow. All right, I'm going to reduce the size of my glue a bit. Let's reduce it a bit. And, um, let's see, let me change the color and see. Taking it back and do something. I'm going to use this. Yeah, I'm going to use this. Okay. All right, so have this now all right let's zoom out a bit and see all right so we have this okay if i had this and i make it visible we have this kind of light um, effect around the button now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make a folder and i'm going to call i'm going to give the folder blend mode um, color dot okay and i'm going to make a copy of this okay and um, the next thing i'll do is let me delete the effects effects and, well, before i do that let me try to get and see what we're going to get cool now the next thing i'm going to do is to blur this layer so i'll go to filter blur torsion blur all right blow it i'm going to blow it blow it cool now uh, the next thing we're going to do is to create a layer let me put um, glow on this and then give another layer for this light all right then i'm um, going to zoom out and i'll fill this layer with black all right i'm going to add uh, my background color to it 
So to add your background color, hold down Ctrl and hit Backspace. All right. But if you're adding your foreground color, which is the white, you hold down Alt and Backspace. Okay. I believe you get the idea. So I'm going to hit Ctrl Backspace, and I'll go to Filter, um, Render, and Lens Flare. Okay. So I'm going to use. Uh, let's say I'm going to position this like this. Let's see if we have uh, other options here. I think I prefer this. So I'll reduce this. I'll reduce the brightness a bit. I don't want it to be too bright. All right. Then I'll hit OK. Now the next thing we're going to do is to now change the blend mode of this to screen. And I'm going to position it here. But it's looking too big. So I'm going to right click. I'm gonna sorry, I'm gonna transform it. So I hit Ctrl T. Alright, and I'll reduce it. Now if you want to reduce the uh, if you want to reduce the um, layer professionally, I think my English is correct. So what you do is you hold shift and alt together and then you reduce. Alright? Shift alt together, then you drag. Alright? So, I'm gonna move zoom close again. All right, I'm gonna move zoom close again. I'll position this right here. Okay, position it here. Sorry, position it here. Okay, then um, I think we're getting there. All right, let's see. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is to make another copy of the light layer. All right, I'll drag this. So I'm gonna drag. I'm gonna drag this. All right. So I have two copies of the light layer. So I'm gonna drop the one inside the glow folder to have this effect. Then I'm gonna use my eraser tool, which is. Um, the which shortcut is E. This is it here. Then I'll clean off the uh, edges, the sharp edges. Remember, always use soft round brush for your um, see soft round brush for your uh, brush preset. So I'm gonna clean this from here. Do the same thing. All right. So um, I think you guys are learning something here. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna draw something like a, like a, um, I'm not, I want to do like a small light effect around the tip of um, the tip of the button. All right, so as to give it more kind of effect look. So what I will do is I'm gonna use my pen tool. I'm gonna to click here. Now for those of you who are not used to, who doesn't know how to use pen tool very well. I will advise you apply for a training. We teach how to use the pen tool, how to make find it easy to use. All right, so I'm going to stop there and make another layer. All right, and then give this um, 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 light um, stroke. All right, so. I'm going to give a light stroke and uh, I'm going to go to my brush tool. Then click on this icon here to activate my brush presets. Then I need to now choose there's a particular brush I'm supposed to use here. So I'll use this, okay? And I'll reduce the size of the brush to like this. Let's say three is fine. Alright, so I'm going to go back to my pen tool, right click and make sure your program color is set to white and I'm going to use stroke and then check this simulate pressure um, box. Alright, make sure your tool is still set to brush and I'll hit OK. So when you hit OK, you have this, um, this light um, um, effect here on, um, on your layer. And the next thing I'm going to do is um, add a glow effect to it, outer glow. Reduce the size, reduce the size of the glow. 
Let's make another copy and I'll drop it inside the glow folder. Alright. Let me blow it a bit. Blow. Gosh and blow. Okay. Blow it a bit. Okay. Alright. Um, so I have this. This. Okay. So. Um, the next thing we're going to do is, um, let's see, if I make this, let me change the color of this light a bit, I think it's too reddish. Okay, let's see, if I hit control, if I go image adjustment and I select hue saturation, if I check color right, and I drag it to the yellow side, which is here, and I move it here. Okay. All right. Okay, so um let's see. I mean, let's try one other effect and see if it works. Though I didn't have it on the one I did. Um, let's say blow again. I want to see if it will work. I'm not sure. Um, brush. Sorry, brown brush. Just the size. I make, listen, guys. There are times you're going to see your brush like this. Alright? And the size is this big. Alright? If your brush is looking like this, check if your cap lock is on. If your cap lock is on, it will look like this. So remember to always turn off your cap lock when you're using the brush too, okay? All right, so I'm going to hit on this, like this, and then I'll go to my low effects chopper, okay? And I'll go to my laser tool, go back to my subframe brush, okay? All right, then let's say um, reduce the opacity a bit. Okay, I think this is cool. All right, let's leave it at that. All right, now the reason I did that is I want it to look like the reflection of the light is touching the tip of the jacket. All right, like it's touching the jacket. All right, so that's the concept. Okay, so um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make another layer again. But this time I'm gonna still give it glow. <laughs> Alright, so go to my brush tool again, then click on this side of the guy's face. And I click twice. So go to my blend mode to spring and then reduce the opacity effect to have this kind of effect. This kind of effect here. Forget about it. I'm supposed to make the size is too big, so I reduce the size. And this, this. Okay, so um, then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to um, we're going to go to my folder and then drag this and drop here. Alright, so I'm going to change the blend mode of this to screen. Alright, I'll drop on here, I'll move it here. Okay, and then make another copy. Then drop move this to about this side. Alright, that's here. And I'm going to 
go to my foreground, choose red, okay, and go to my brush, alright, go to my brush tool, and make a new layer, give it down lights, alright, so I just want to make it look like, like there's a fire burning at the bottom side of the um, guy's jacket so it's the one making the um, light fire dust come out so I'm gonna make a big brush and I click the next now we will position it here and here okay so it a bit so here then use my razor to put in the Sharp edges. Okay. And I'm gonna position it here. All right. Then uh, the next thing we're gonna do is, um, I think we are now on the end part. I'm still thinking if I should leave this guy here or I should take it off. Sorry, I can't hear you guys. I don't know what you guys think. Should I take it off or leave it there? Uh -huh. Take it off. Don't need it. So I'll delete it. Alright, so um, let's go to our adjustment layer. Let's just make this make the color more balanced. So I'll go to um, adjustment layer, gradient map. For this time, I'll use this. This, 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 this. Okay, I'll hit OK. So um, I'm going to go to my layer palette and then choose the opacity a bit. Go here, let's say, um, let me see if I make it overlay. Okay, I think the overlay is fine. Alright, so I'm just going to go this level. Okay. And um, make this down a bit, and um, go to my adjustment layer again and select the hue, and then reduce the saturation a bit. Drop this to level. All right, uh, I think it's time for us to now start adding our text. So I'm gonna go to my text tool, and I'll type. Uh, let me type. Uh, there, enter, but, okay, I'll change the color of my fonts, this is yellow, centralize it, and I'll go back to my text uh, character palette, I'll increase the size to, let's say, bang. 11 is more, make it 14. Then I'll change the font style. I can have some good font style. I can make a use for this. There's a font I saw yesterday, and I think I'm in love with the font. I can't find it again. No, let me use the one I used yesterday. Alright, so I'm going to use uh, this Ooh. and I'll move this down. Okay, but I need to reduce the size of this one. I'm going to reduce the size of about this size. And I'll hit Ctrl A, I'll select all, and I'll move this and then give it. Space, space, space. Let us make this and space a bit. Then I'll position it here. Okay. I'm thinking if I should have more space in there. So I'll have this and I have space. I'm going to use size and font here. This. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So, um, da -da 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 then I'll add my text. Save the. 
Sun or Caesar. Then I'll use a what's it? Uh, I'm sure everybody's familiar with this text here. Now, any text you see me use here, okay? They are text you can get from the internet, okay? So if you have any text you want to get from the internet, any text if you see any text you see me use, sorry, and then you're looking at getting it from the internet, just look at my textile um, box, all right? Copy the name of the text and then you can search for it on Google. So I'll hit Ctrl T to reduce the size of my text, okay? I'll reduce this to purpose. I don't want it to be too big. Then I'm going to go to the layer, double click on the T box and close this space. All right, so I have the button. Get this again to up here. All right, so um, then the next thing I'll do is I'll click here and then say a film by um, Caesar no 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 sorry a Caesar graphics film yeah then I hit control A close the space for one and I come here I have this my lovely text that I use for stuff like this <laughs> all right so I'm going to increase the size of it to let's say 10 no 10 is too big 9 8 6 cool. 6 is good and I'll reduce the size of this to let's say 4 it doesn't have to be too big all right so I'm going to move this here Okay, moving this here, and I'm um, going to um, all right. So I'm going to go to my notepad. All right, I have. Um, it doesn't have to be the story about the thing, guys. Please, because somebody will start criticizing me now. So this is like this is the text I use for my uh, for before our. Uh, um, training hand bills so I'm only going to use it like it's about the movie so I'm going to drag this thread text box with my text tool and then paste it in then control A on my keyboard and I'm going to close the space all right close the space and I'll hit just the file to where I like to where sorry I like to write and I'm going to put this here like this yes with this I position this here oh can you centralize it let me centralize it I think the centralizing will be nice so I'm going to go to my text layer and centralize it good I'll come here and say I need some I need some so I'll change sorry Done. All right, so I'm going to change the text style to zero. This zero um, block is kind of regular. All right, so I'm going to change the color to this. Change it to this. Okay. Um, okay. Let me stretch this. Let me stretch this guy. The button. I'm going to stretch it. Control T. And I'll hold Alt Shift. Stretch it to the something like this. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to move this here. Shift select this second. Um, shift select the return of Caesar, and then click on the uh, align the horizontal center here. And I'm going to move this. Okay. This. Okay. All right. Let me go centralize this. Like this. Right, so I'm going to centralize it. Good. 
All right, so um, I'm gonna have my website. So if you really want to know more about the movie, you can go to my website. So go to our website. Um, to, to, the font style for the news alright and I'm going to change the size to something great but it's just not too it doesn't have to be too visible alright so I think this is it and um, this is the end of the tutorial alright yeah too big, I would use it. I don't want it to be get at the comments, so I don't want to get that. Okay, so this is it. I think we're clear. And um, I think you guys learned something here. So um, now you can start, uh, you know, coming up with different kind of movie for stuff for yourself I believe this tutorial really helped you guys and if you have any comments please put it on uh, the comment bo box below and um, you can also go to our website and then send those comments and let us know what you think about this tutorial so as to help us and then help you more and then so we can continue giving you more tutorial on what to do and if you feel there's a way to make this look more better you can also put it on the you can also send us your artwork and then let's see what you come up with all right now I wish you happy photoshopping i love you guys bye